don't know if there's somebody in this room you're going through adversity. I don't know. Again, we talk. There's different reasons, you know, why we go through adversity. Sometimes it's our own, it's our own wrongdoing, right? It's our own mistakes. And I was thinking about the final words uh, I mentioned just in the main session. You know, Jesus, one of the final words. He said seven things in six hours. And one of the most amazing things that he said was, he said, you know, think about. I mean, when, when, I, when, you, when you look at this, you know, he hung there from 9 in the morning on the cross until 3 in the afternoon. When you read the research, Romans uh, crucified hundreds of people. And uh, I was reading one day, you know, Cicero and, and uh, Seneca, these guys that were historians of the time. They said when the Romans would crucify people, these guys that were hung on the cross, they would yell out blasphemies. They'd curse their own life, their mother and father. And these soldiers would get so, like... Um, sick of hearing them, they'd climb up on the cross and cut the tongues out of these guys' mouths. Just, I'm sick of hearing it. They just cut their tongues off. And you think of what Jesus did on the cross when he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And, and just what that means to us as men, when I when I think about that, and I it just dawned on me as I was looking at that not too long ago, that Jesus never, when he was on the earth and doing his ministry, he never said, he would never say, Father, forgive them. He would just say, you're forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. He would never ask the Father to forgive people. In fact, that's one of the reasons they hung on the cross. When he healed the lame man, remember, he says, you're, he said, son, your sins are forgiven. Take up your mat and walk. And the Pharisees were so mad. Who are you to forgive sin? Only God can forgive sin. And he said, well, if you're struggling with the fact that the Son of Man can forgive sin, he said, you know what, then what's harder to say, take up your bed and walk or your sins be forgiven? And the re Jesus could speak with authority that sins would be forgiven because he knew the price he would pay on the cross. But now, he's the sacrifice. Now he's praying to the Father that, you know, Father, you forgive them because I'm the perfect sacrifice for all sin, all adversity, all heartbreak, all healing. And I just think to myself, as men of God, we have such an opportunity to be healers, to be encouragers. Some of us are firefighters. We're there for the crisis. And some of us, many times pastors, we find ourselves in that role. But... You guys in this room are builders. And you can come alongside other men and you can encourage them. And so I hope that whatever you have gone through in life, um, we've all gone through stuff. We all have a story. And we need to let God use that story to help bring healing and hope um, to others.